Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Gigantic live pictures from a do PDP flag off campaign today in Egbomodio Stadium. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Thanks for always being there. You can see uh, rolling by your screen right now are the pictures of what is going on in uh, Edo State, Benin City, the biggest, one of the biggest stadium in the region, the Agumedio Stadium that was refurbished and made again usable by the governor of Edo State who spent a lot of money to make that very stadium of international standard. Yes, international standard. Uh, by the way, if you have not given us a thumbs up, this would be a good time to do so. And please don't forget to like us, to share, to subscribe. We really appreciate you. Governor Gordon Obaseki today and the PDP uh, and a flag off of their campaign. We know that APC have started way before now where we saw the B-boards and the posters of um, Ize Iyamu and his deputy, um, you know, working together. And over the weekend, we also saw that um, Ushomole came on board when he came into Edo State in a triumphant way and pledging support not for Ize Yamu, but for himself, that he was going to change some things in, his, in, in the administration because he was not really referring to Ize Yamu. It was rather a talk uh, that you can infer God Federalism in the statement in the sense that we have come back. I have come back to take what, belong for, what rightfully belongs to us. I've come back to make sure that um, we get this administration back on track. I have come back to make sure that um, the mistake we made, we, we correct it. But the truth is, if you are campaigning for somebody, you should be speaking for that person and the focus should not be you the focus really truly should be about the person you are speaking about the person you are advocating for and the person you want the people to see but rather what we see is um it's uh it's it's rather about oshomole 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 well nigerians this is what is going on right now as we speak <clears throat> um the the campaign is in full swing and uh, let's get on with the news and get all the details so that you are braised with everything that is going on uh right now in a uh, state the elections are exactly 55 days from today uh, we are keeping track and we are following suit and we we'll bring you all the latest information as it drops in a uh, state as the matter comes on board well my people let's carry on and get all the details the people democratic party pdp will flag off uh, flag off campaign for governor gordon obaseki starts today saturday 25th july 2020 the venue has built has been beautifully designed as you can see the pictures with the with the party logo and banners the venue for the event is the samuel obamedio stadium in benin city edo state the event is scheduled to take off from 10 a.m it has started already the people democratic party has earlier issued a press statement on friday evening you will remember apple line media yes we are on top of our game we kept you up to date and we brought you you can even watch the video of god god nobaseki admonish, admonishing and speaking to the people of the world please refer to our former news and see the, especially the news of yesterday where he was speaking to just a small group of people in a room we kept you up to date with that so let's continue so you can uh, hear what's happening the pdp had earlier issued a statement on friday yesterday uh, with regards to the uh, flag off campaign today in regard with, with restrict with events complying complying strictly with the covid 19 protocol protocol making sure that everyone is safe and um, infection and transmission is of no record during this campaign period the campaign will be held with party executive and few supporters on ground we will not be allowing so many supporters because of the venue and to make sure that we curtail every spread on every form of coronavirus to keep our people safe which is more important than the campaign itself in that regard the official 
PDP Edo Campaign Council for the 2020 governorship election has limited the number of members and supporters expected at the flag of ceremony slated to hold at the Bumedio Stadium in Benin City to check the overcrowding. And then this they have implemented and put in place to make sure that everyone is safe. Governor Gordon Obaseki joined the People's Democratic Party a few weeks ago f after being dumped by the All Progressive Congress APC. The governor has emerged as the candidate for the party in the election coming up on September 19, 2020. Obaseki will be comp competing with his longtime opponents, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu of the All Progressive Congress and 12 other candidates. And you can see the beauty in the way they have decorated the place and uh, they are doing things decently and in order. To be very candid, my people, a disclaimer, we're not politicians. We have no affiliation with any of the politicians, God bearing us witness. But guess what? You cannot see what is right and not speak up. Apple Line Media, we don't only condemn bad governance. We we advocate and we, 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 we speak for good ones and we encourage them to do well and to do more. Why? Look at what is going on in Edo State. Listen, it's, it, it's about time in Nigeria that... We come to the place where uh, we have true democracy. We have people being led adequately and beautifully, and we are enjoying what true democracy is and should be. You know, it's about time we get this. There is nothing stopping us from enjoying true democracy. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that should stop us as a people from enjoying true democracy. We have, we are, we are, we are, we are supposed to enjoy what should be ours and not allow some persons or some people. To determine what belongs to us true democracy and moving forward is a right for the people is not just it's not just saying it's um it, it's a it's a privilege no it's, it's our real right it's our is our is our position as people to enjoy this level of governance of beauty and that is what it should be you know it's not a time where we come on board and uh, we allow people to just determine what happens to our future to children of our uh, to the, ch the future of our children why we can change all that with the decision we make by allowing the relevant and the right persons to come on board how can you do that one of the ways you can do that is by casting your vote yes your vote your vote is very important and please don't stay on the sideline and say it's not my business they are politicians mm -mm. whatever decision they make will not only affect you, it will affect your children it will affect you if the roads for instance which i always use as a typical example is a dead trap and you move on that road if there's an accident it will not just affect the people in the vehicle you are part of it it will affect you take for instance the hospitals are top of its game you go to the hospital you want to be treated and you are treated adequately and you you know things go well what will happen you'll be happy you'll be very very happy so why do you think that we don't we should not enjoy true and beautiful democracy why why shouldn't we we have the right. We are a people. We should get that. It's our right, God-given right. And so we should not allow anybody, anyone at all, to take it away from us. And how can we do that? By making sure that our votes are not sidelined. By making sure that we vote for the right candidates who will take us there. By making sure that you and I, you know, get ourselves involved, you know, in the way we should to make sure that these people do not take what belongs to us. You know, you we must make sure we, 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 we avail ourselves of that opportunity. Nigerians, the time has come for us to move forward and for us to adequately speak for the truth and not allow a few persons who feel they are in government to determine what happens to us. You have a voice, use it. Don't allow yourself to be intimidated. One of the ways you can use your voice is by adequately, adequately, you know, liking us, share, subscribe, Click on the notification button so you get all our news. And another thing you can do, very importantly, is your comments. People all over the nations of the world are reading your comments. They are seeing what is going on in Nigeria. And in good time, we will be, we, our country will be investigated for misappropriation. You know, we can be better. We can be great. But we just need good governance. And when we see one who is doing that thing right. We should support to make sure that they get it right and they are encouraged to do more, not kick them out. 
These people want to kick them out because they have an interior, uh, inferior motive just to come and spend the money without no proper development. Nigerians, the ball is in your court. Do the right thing so that we can enjoy true democracy. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you who are out there. Please remember to always, you know, support us in every way you can. I truly appreciate those of you who said I am the first to comment. It just gives me a thrill and I really, and I really say thank you. And guess what? If you have any comment and you feel that there is something we should pay attention to, please let us know. We are not a proud people. We will say thank you for your correction and observation and we implement it. So I want to say thank you. God bless you. Bye for now.